Hey everybody, this is Mr. Menino from Gainesville Middle School, and today what I want to do is just talk very briefly about our Enriched Science program. Um, so what we did is about, it's probably been seven or eight years ago now, we started an Enriched Science program at Gainesville Middle, and <clears throat> basically what that program entails is students apply for the program, and the application, all the fifth grade teachers from the feeder elementary schools uh, should have that information, and kids apply, and I'll talk more about that at the end. Uh, but basically what this program is, is it's really a program that caters to students who really have a love of science. It's not the same as an extended math program or anything like that. It's just an in-house program that we started here at Gainesville. So it's not a program that will help students take more advanced high school classes or anything like that. Um, but it is a program that we're very proud of because it does give students some additional opportunities who, who really want to explore science in a little bit more depth. So the way the program works is we accept about... Um, this year we'll accept about 80 students to the program because we're limited to three classes. We have three sixth grade classes, and the reason we're limited is because those students will rotate classes. They'll rotate teachers um, three times throughout the year for about two weeks or 10 days, 10 to 15 days, something like that, <clears throat> per time, where each teacher has a certain specialty area and each teacher tries to do some enrichment things with the students. So the normal curriculum gets compressed a little bit, and what they, they, then we do is we have some additional time built into the schedule where those students can rotate teachers and do some science enrichment activities. So typically, now this is all subject to change, uh, but typically uh, enrichment opportunities will be things like, um, there's one on uh, genetics in sixth grade, there's one on scientific inquiry and the nature of science, there's one on science projects. Uh, typically in seventh grade, we do one on botany, We've done ones on comparative anatomy with dissections. Um, some years, typically, I do a bridge building competition. I'll show you a couple real quick examples I just have to have here at my house where kids made them through the years. Um, there's just a couple real quick examples, and then we test those bridges, um, that kind of for efficiency, that kind of thing. So those are just some of the opportunities that we have built into the schedule for our rich science students. Um, this program does start in sixth grade and the students stay in the program in seventh and eighth grade. Uh, eighth grade kids have typically not rotated classes, but those teachers do some enrichment things just with their students in class. Um, but that's the program that we have here at Gainesville. Um, now, if you want to apply to the program, there's an application. It's very simple. You just fill it out. We, are, we do ask students to write a one to two paragraph essay about why they like science. And really, that's about it. Once you've done that and applied, uh, the application deadline is May 14th, so May 14th, 2021, and this will be for our incoming sixth graders. Um, you have to have the application in by then. Then this year might be a little bit different. Um, <clears throat> typically, we look at SOL test scores. This year, we probably will not do that. I know there's been a lot of you know debate about that with the COVID and that kind of thing. So what we'll most likely do this year is take all the qualified applicants and have a drawing and just select the students that way. Um, I, I will reach out to the fifth grade elementary schools and, and, uh, get some information about students, uh, you know, average grades and the, how they like science and that kind of stuff, just to make sure we have qualified applicants. And we'll probably do a drawing this year, um, to let students into the program. So, um, my big advice is apply. Um, I've never had kids, uh, Never in the history of doing this program, we've never had students who say, wow, there's just too much work and I didn't, I wanted to make sure I was ready for middle school so I didn't apply in sixth grade um, and I want to get out. We've never had a student ever who wanted to leave the program. Now the opposite of that is true. We've had lots of kids through the years who say, oh, I didn't apply as a sixth grader because I was nervous about you know middle school, but now I want to be in, in seventh grade. Well, that's really not an option because what happens is once those slots are filled, and because students rotate classes, we can't just open up other sections of it. Um, those spots are taken. So my strong advice, if you have any interest in science or being in the program, my strong advice is apply. Because again, based on the history of the program, we've never had students who wanted to drop out. Uh, so please, uh, you know, look over the application. Apply by May 14th, like I said. And, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to get in. Now, uh, whether you're in or not, at the end of the day, doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Like I said, this is just a program we started here at Gainesville. Um, it has been copied by a couple of other middle schools, but it's not a county program. Like I said, it, it doesn't uh, allow students to take any more advanced classes or anything like that. Um, and whether you get in the program or you don't, I think you're going to have a wonderful opportunity 
uh, to really explore science at Gainesville Middle School. So when in doubt, apply. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. It'll be on the application, but it's Menino, M-A-N-E-N-O-J-E, at pwcs.edu. All right, thanks, everybody. Look forward to seeing you at Gainesville next year. Uh, oh, and the other thing I'll just mention is, you know, again, I, I don't know what COVID's going to look like in schools next year. So obviously, you know, this is our plan as of now, um, but of course, you know, that could all be subject to change or modify um, just based on, you know, COVID and what that means for schools. So I just wanted to put that out there because there are no guarantees in this world today with COVID. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.